Welcome to the big show. This is Investing with Confidence. As always, I am your host, Joshua David, and we are happy to have you with us today. Al, I got to tell you one thing. I feel It feels like yesterday we were saying it's Memorial Day weekend, but today it is Labor Day weekend, and how are you doing today? Yeah, well, happy Labor Day to everybody. I'm doing fine. I'm finally over not being at the fair. You know, we uh, normally we broadcast from there, but we're here in our COVID-proof bunker in Bloomington, ready, you, ready to go. You were pretty sad, but you are happy now because it's oh, always okay. great to be back. I, I got over it. It's, it's great to be back, helping our listeners make better investing decisions. And now we had a phenomenal, phenomenal week in the markets. The stock markets were great. The NASDAQ, the Dow, the S&Ps, all showing great opportunities uh, we talk about oil every week. Another slowly up chug in the uh, in the oil market. The dollar continues to drop. But I tell you what, these cryptocurrencies, They're they high. are roaring once again, especially Ethereum, getting up to uh, currently at about 3915 bucks per Ethereum coin. Now, there's, that's a lot of the things that we're going to talk about here today on investing with confidence is the opportunities within these financial markets. And Online Trading Academy, the sponsor of Investing with Confidence, has been around for on their 25th year. I mean, I should hold the applause yeah, crowd. <laughs> 25 years, a quarter of a century, teaching people skills to get into the financial markets, whether that's for stocks, options, futures, and Forex. And the big thing they teach is how to trade like an institution because there's a big gap. There's a yep. gap between the institutional success, which would be the big banks, the, the Goldman Sachs, the Buffets of the world, and the novice, right? They use, they use tools that the novice typically don't use in their investment decisions. And sometimes it's almost like the, the public is getting taken advantage of, right? So what are some of these tools that they're using? And just so our listeners understand, some of the things that Al is going to talk about here today, these tools and resources are are also available to us. Yeah, I think a lot of people, though, are under the impression that there is such a, first of all, there is such a difference between the returns of the the big institutions, the, the smart money, the hedge funds, and, and the uh, the novice trader, the public uh, amateur traders. And, and the, I think people assume that it's because they have access to things that we as the public don't have access to. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. It's just that they're not guiding you and educating you on the things that they're using. Uh, the well, tip, what are some of the things that they're using, though? Like, what are the tools that they're using, and how do they get into their trades? Well, first of all, they have a plan. Uh, all these these people, when, when they go into a trade, it's not something they just uh, arbitrarily decide to throw some money into. They have analyzed a the company. They might have spent months or years analyzing something to identify what a, a real value is, what the actual value to them is for that company, and also when it's going to be overvalued. And they do their trades and their investments based on those two things. When something is valued fairly, that's where uh, they're showing us what that, what they're doing. That's where they're going to take a position and using the strategy that we teach our students, we show them how to identify when that happens. And also when something is overvalued and they want to get out of a position, we do the same thing. Basically, we're just following what they're doing, not what they're telling you to do, because what they will tell you to do is, look, here's a portfolio and you just hold on to it for years and just let's get it let's get you in the market right now it's not it's time in the market it's not timing the market exactly the opposite of what we're telling you to do it and to be honest with you the opposite of what they're doing their advisors might be telling you get in the market that's the important thing but their traders are not doing that they have the patience to wait until price comes to one of those levels where they're buying or where they're selling and they're buying low and selling high which is Always. the concept but the public doesn't really know how to do that. Well, they don't know how to do it because they've con been conditioned to react in a certain way to news that's out there or to what the advisors are telling them or the pundits that you see on TV are telling them. And typically, when, well, always when the institutions are buying, they buy low. They do not buy high. But if they're buying low, somebody has to be on the opposite side of that position. So somebody has to be selling low. That's the public. And when the institutions are getting out of a position, so when they're selling high, which they always do, somebody has to be buying high, and that's the public. So they, it's in their best interest to condition you and to do whatever they can to get you to be on the opposite side of their trade, which has you buying high and selling low, the exact opposite of what you should do. Yeah, and the great thing, I mean, some of the things that Al was talking about, the institutions, they're analyzing all these stocks and, and finding the value. 
us as the public, first of all, we're not as smart as them. They've been educated on certain things to do that, and they have the resources to do that. We don't need to analyze stocks. We need to understand on a price chart where they might be buying and selling so then we don't have an opinion. We're basing our decisions off of facts. And that's why it's so important for us to learn these skills, learn these skills to buy low and sell high. The difference between the the public and the the institutions is just education. And they that's are exactly right. They yeah. are regular people. Yeah. Regular people like them have learned how to do that yeah. market. Nobody is born with the skills and the knowledge to be a trader investor. It's like everything else. You learn. Yep. You have to have the education, the knowledge, the, the financial literacy. Yeah. So when where you start is you got to start with some education. Al, you actually teach investors investing classes right here in Bloomington. Uh, And these are classes where we've taught thousands just like you are many strategies which are designed to teach you to make better investing decisions. So I want to give away 20 tickets for callers 1 through 10 right now. When you call in right now, you're also going to receive a Cryptocurrency Foundations course. There's a lot with cryptocurrency, a lot of opportunity, and we want to make sure our listeners understand how the cryptocurrency market works. 952-814-4410 for two tickets in the crypto class. 952-814-4410. You can also text four eight. Uh, text the word "invest" to the number four eight four eight four eight. Al, what's next? Let's talk about why confidence is so important as an investor and how you can achieve it. Building confidence in the financial markets coming up next. Nine five two eight one four forty four ten for two tickets plus the cryptocurrency course. This is Josh and Al investing with confidence. We'll be right back. <laughs> 